Rob Seco, Future Farm. Today's innovations, tomorrow's solutions. So Todd, it's about that time of year. We're standing here in some corn that's about V8 right now. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of uh, the fertilizer has been applied. The crop's really getting into it and starting to grow real fast. But, you know, there are parts of the country that are really dry right now. The drought monitor is showing a lot of areas of Nebraska, across the central corn belt that's real dry. I mean, how do we go about mitigating that? Because we have a couple of applications of, of herbicides and or fungicides left in the year. Yeah. You know, that drought monitor changes week over week, right? Mm -hmm. But it's still very, very consistent. And if you look at the short-term, two-week up to four-week outlook for weather pattern, going to be drier, going to be warmer in mm -hmm. some of those parts of the world that are already under duress from the drought monitor. And so we're, you know, we want to think about a couple of things. One, we want to protect. Then we want to support. Mm -hmm. Then we also want to stimulate at the same time. And as, as you think about those, those stress factors, we're using a product, uh, a, a defensive-oriented type of a product that has, that has NPK, mm -hmm. so, so uh, four different formulas, formulations of, of nitrogen. It has phosphorus and it has soluble potassium in it, but it has a couple of plant extracts mm -hmm. that, will, that will help motivate, stimulate, and also protect at the same time. Okay, so these plant extracts, I mean, that would be new to the industry. I mean, they haven't been used for very long, especially from a foliar perspective. I mean, the, what kinds of responses might the plant have to some of those extracts? So you think about these extracts and, 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 and why I think they're important, because as we move into a warmer period, what happens? People always correlate heat with energy, right? Mm -hmm. But as we increase more GDUs, as we accumulate more growing degree units, what happens? Mm -hmm. That's an indicator of how fast the maturation or the progress of this crop is going to move, right? Mm -hmm. And it can move so fast that it can't create its own natural occurring auxins or hormones or ability to stimulate itself. So uh, two of the plant extracts in this particular product are arginine, mm -hmm. number one. But what arginine can do is it can help transport carbohydrate and sugar in the plant, but really what it does is it will trigger a natural defense mechanism. So mm -hmm. trigger that natural defense mechanism proactively before the plants compromise, because normally, normally you will you will build your defense mechanisms once you've been hit, right? right. It's like you and your brother's fighting. <laughs> exactly. And he, you know, as soon as, as soon as you hit your younger brother, he's gonna go into a defensive mode. Mm -hmm. this, is one of those, this is one of those opportunities to preempt that. So build the defense mechanism in the plant, trigger that defense mechanism, mechanism without having the actual stress on it to help get ahead of that potential stress and the negative effect that that stress will have. Exactly, so I mean these plants, they're, they're factories, they only have a finite set of resources. Yeah. And so, you know, either augmenting or implementing some defense mechanisms earlier in the plant will allow it to reallocate those resources to better withstand yeah. some of that stress. Yeah. Something you just said, I love it, is, is it's a factory. Mm -hmm. 34,000 little factories on every acre. And mm -hmm. our job is to build the best factory that we can or help protect the best factory we can. Because this factory will create its own grain. Mm -hmm. right? Now I build a, a bigger, tougher, broader, more robust plant, mm -hmm. ah, but at the same time the arginine has already triggered a, a defense mechanism. So, so you're helping the defense of that plant in more than one way. Right. Thank you, Todd. I think there's a lot of really cool innovations that can go on in terms of using plant extracts to boost the defensive mechanisms of the plant, as well as provide the additional nutrients the plant needs yeah. to maximize yield through the year. It's a one-two punch in defense. Mm -hmm.